Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be giving a lesson slash feedback review on some recordings that my students over on Discord sent me. Basically, if you don't know, I have a Discord server for my patrons where people can send me recordings. And today I thought I would be reviewing some of these videos for you guys so everyone can learn something and hopefully you guys can listen to each other and enjoy the music. So I received four recordings for today. Some of these are full recordings of pieces and some of these are partial recordings because I said it's also fine if someone is just recently starting a piece or they can just play a couple pages. I can also review the progress that they're making. So I will leave the performance running first and then I will give my feedback. So let's start with Onion who is playing a Rachmaninoff prelude. Okay, so thank you very much for the recording. As you can see, it is just the first couple of pages, but that's fine because I want to see the progress. So there's a couple of things that I would like to get into. Um, I will always try to get right into the core of things. I don't really like when people compliment for half an hour and then they don't see anything. So I would straight away get into <laughs> the, um, the feedback. I mean, you know, anyways, the things that you do great and the things you, that you need to work on. So the first thing I would want to say is you need to work more on the cantabile, especially the melody. So one thing I noticed is that you get too loud too quickly. So the crescendo does not have a um, natural progress, so to say. When you start from piano or pianissimo, and you go up to forte it needs a bit of effort so you cannot just i mean the train just starts going you know you need to slowly the train slowly starts going it's not like it immediately goes from pianissimo to forte um, you need to ac accelerate a bit in the sense of dynamics you need to add slowly 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 until you reach a nice forte you can't just go explosively from 0 to 100 is basically what I want to say. Now what I really like is the left hand crescendi and the small fluctuations that you're doing because the left hand needs to be alive. If it's just static and flat then it doesn't support the melody at all. So I like the left hand, the small fluctuations that you're doing but the right hand definitely needs more development. I would also like you to choose some points that you want to emphasize. I mean, it's very obvious which points need em emphasis, but I would like you to be more strategic about it and not to um, not to emphasize the whole piece, so to say. So very easy in Rachmaninoff to, to show everything, but we need to still choose our highlights and the things that are very important to us to show. So I haven't played this piece. Um, I will just quickly show what I think I would do. Um, keep in mind, this is just side reading. I have no time to practice these pieces. I will just quickly try to show you what I mean with the melody. And other than that, just keep working on it. 
Um, I know you're the right type for Rachmaninoff, it's right in your area, but the sound is sometimes too brutal and too quickly too loud. I think that's the, that's the key, too quickly too loud. You need to choose where you want to play passionately, um, but you can't do it everywhere and you can't do it without having some development first. recording is from sketchy and she's playing the ballad number one from Chopin
Okay, great progress on the balance. I think everyone on Discord knows and have has followed your progress with this piece ever since you started um, just the first couple of bars and till now you really came a long way. So there are some things that, some basic things that I want to cover here. Um, the first thing is that the tempo. So the tempo needs to be stable. We can talk about rubato and things like this at a later stage, but right now the tempo needs to be stable and the rhythm needs to be stable. And I will show you some examples now of just the first couple of um, the first couple of bars uh, moderato, which I think you did either too much rubato or you're not aware of of the of the rhythmical. Um, elements um, of this piece because we don't always use the rubato here um, actually I prefer when it's just strict in tempo so I would show you this and I would like you to work more in this direction of the rhythm <laughs> Also, what I think is really important, please, the chords should always be quiet compared to the melody, because um, at the moment the chords are, are too loud and too much in the, you know, too much in the focus. So I would want the chords to be very soft and the melody to have a nice, um, shining and bright color, so that it's clear for the listener that uh, the two are different. You know, we have foreground and background. So I want more difference in this regard. And I will also show you how to play these, uh, how I would like these chords to sound compared to the melody. Here are some other things, um, for example, pedal change, as we have in bar 26, and after 26 as well, I think you held the pedal too long and the harmonies didn't quite work. Now this page with the chords and the octaves is working quite well, and I like the, the phrasing as well that you're doing here. Um, maybe you can add a little more extra, because this is really the... Um, the highlight, you know, of, of this piece, um, we are this this shining color and big chords and long octave sequences. I think it can have a little bit more uh, brightness to it, but otherwise, um, this uh, part you did really great on. Okay, so to sum up, I would say uh, work on the rhythm, maybe practice with the metronome more. Um, uh, try to have a bit more difference in dynamics. It sounded a bit too similar. So when you have really bright colors um, or you have this, you know, melancholic dark, I would want to hear more difference in the dynamic. So work really with pianissimo and triple piano all the way up to fortissimo or um, threefold. Uh, forte but this is something that you can work on in the future and also with your other pieces now the next performance is by simply piano and he's playing the second movement from the appassionata sonata from beethoven
okay thank you for the recording uh, again this is more like a progress thing or just a partial recording but i will give you some some feedback on the things i think you can work on so let's start with the theme the tempo choice you're probably correct with that uh, in terms of metronome number we're talking about somewhere 104 108 probably but still the theme sounds very rushed and i, I don't mean tempo wise i mean more like the movements hand movements and because this directly affects how quickly you release the keys or switch the position it can actually be heard even if i did not see you play i mean if i did not see your hands i could tell that you're using abrupt um, sort of movements now i'll give some examples from this just uh, very quickly i will play a couple bars which how i think that the theme should sound like and how you can work on the phrasing here next variation is nice and melodic um, you, you I mean the melody you make it nicely but the right hand is a bit too loud or a bit too even um, sounds a bit too technical and mechanic so use the left hand to generate some some nice melody and phrases and the right hand should be more like a background just like a couple of trees in the background maybe in a, in a painting you know you're focusing too much on this even if you don't mean to now probably you don't mean to but i can tell you that from listening to it uh, the right hand is simply too loud just play it very softly like like a, some birds in the background somewhere like this and focus really on the left hand and the phrasing okay this next variation is technically good i mean you play technically well Mm, but uh, but the broken chords and the runs sound a bit a bit too punctuated in the rhythm. If you're practicing with the metronome or if you're practicing in a punctuated uh, rhythm, please always practice both punctuations. So if you practice like da 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 da, please also practice da 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 da. So the, the other punctuation. Now, I'm looking forward to um, hearing your your whole. Um, maybe the whole appassionata, sonata one day, and just keep on the right track, work on the things that I told you, and you will have a nice second movement and a great sonata, I'm sure. Okay, now the last recording here is from Philly. He's playing an arabesque number one by not Debussy, but instead Chaminade. <laughs>
Okay, Philly, great presentation, really. I mean, I can I can tell you know what you're doing, and you're playing it really well. I actually don't know this piece, so what I can say about it is very limited. Um, but first, I just have to give you some praise, because you're playing it very convincingly. Now, um, it's not easy to play a piece convincingly, but you're doing everything right here, this is the first time I've heard this piece, and I'm totally convinced um, by the way you do it is very authentic. So the only small things I can give you here, small advice, is not like we're not talking about any wrong notes or anything that might have happened. Nobody really cares about those. I will try to give you something that can help you take it a step further, but it's really only one or two things that I can say about this. Also because I don't know the piece. If you play maybe Beethoven, then I can give you much more advice. Even if, even if you play uh, well or perfectly, I can still give some feedback. But in this case, it's very limited, the things that I can say. And I think that's better anyways. <laughs> this piece kind of repeats a lot, you know, for three minutes or four minutes. It's, um, it's very much the same, this piece. For me personally, I want a bit more variety. So when the, when the dolce theme comes, you know, dolce, I don't want it always to sound the same. For the first three or four times, it's completely fine. But then, you know, by minute three, I want some a little bit of variety. So you can you can work with. A bit more rubato on the fourth time or whatever time or a bit more jokingly a bit more melancholic or a bit more passionate you know when the forte comes it doesn't only have to be the dolce you know when the forte comes a bit more passion or a bit more brutal or a bit more you know, a bit more um, maestoso whatever you do i want a little bit more variety in that um, that is really the only thing I can tell about what I would still like from the piece. And then just a small technical thing. I know your fingers are great, but when you have arpeggios, I can um, see a little bit of not struggle, but it's not it's not so even the arpeggios. For example, if you have twice arpeggio in the right hand going down, I can hear the first note of every group too much. Or also when you have something that's split in both hands I can hear that it's not super stable so the only thing you can um, work on is using your arm a bit more when you do these arpeggios when going down and putting the hand um, over quite early so this helps the arpeggio to be smoother and by the way when you have any arpeggio that is going in two hands either up or down split into two hands I mean then it's the this is like a hack thingy is you should definitely play the first note of the second hand if, even if you go up or down um, it needs to be very very quiet in my experience like almost pianissimo um, almost regardless of the dynamic piano or pianissimo um, sounds way better that way because you don't hear the attack you don't hear the exact moment that the hand switches you know and this makes it super smooth and this is just a just a small tip i can give you to make this arpeggio thing better i would like to thank all my students great work seriously all of you and just keep working on um, on the way you're doing it and i hope my feedback here helped you a little bit to progress or to get some new ideas, inspirations.